All right, so let's go to the next uh, challenge that we would have here in our signal chain here. Let's, uh, let's go to the bass drum, okay? Let's just put the bass drum in this, get the RMS portion sitting there, fader at zero uh, all the way through. But now we have the opposite problem, right? If, if, I, if I do what we, wanted, we talked about doing, which is getting my signal sitting at line level, getting my fader in high resolution where I can actually mix effectively with it, but now the signal is just way too loud. I'm talking way too loud. How do I turn it down? Where do I turn it down? That becomes the big question there. And again, this is one uh, that is really more suited to live sound challenges than anything. How do I turn that down without de-optimizing my console? So let's, let's run through a couple of examples here. Well, I could turn it down. Let's see here. I could turn it down at the fader, of course. But let's say in this instance, just for the sake of argument, that, that fader would need to be down minus 20 dB to get the bass drum to be at the level that I want it for the music that I'm presenting, right? Well, now if I want to make changes to that bass drum during the show, well, I mean, it's, I'm in the low res portion of that fader. I mean, it's going to be a challenge to make subtle changes there, meaningful changes there. So really, I really don't want to do this if I can avoid it, right? Well, and I've had people say, well, just turn down the PA master, right? Well, if I turn down the PA master, now I've sacrificed level on every other input based on the level of the bass drum, right? When in fact, I've got to build an offset for the bass drum. I need it to actually be quieter compared to other things that I'm going to send through the console. So this is really not the place to do it either, right? And the next thing that people say to me often, and, we, and honestly, we've done it this way for years. I've watched guys do it this way for a year. Well, just turn down the preamp and leave your fader in high resolution and find out find it there. So I've made the case that I, I don't want to do that at the preamp. I really don't want to uh, challenge that. And, and the other reason is twofold. It's, it's not just bit depth. It's this, is that that preamp level is now our record level, right? It's now our record level. And if we're mixing front of house uh, and monitors from the same console, well, guess what? That preamp level affects our insert return possibility. And it also affects our aux sends to our monitors, right? If we have to turn down that gain, that input gain, 20 dB to get the level to be right in the house, we've now penalized all these other ele elements or these other areas by that amount of gain, right? So if I turn it down 20 dB at preamp gain, well, now my record level is very low. Uh, I submit to you that we're recording in low resolution. Uh, I'm going to have to dramatically affect thresholds on gates and compressors to get them to work correctly. And now I've got 20 dB less gain to a pre-fade monitor output, right? So it makes it very, very tough to make the argument to do it there. So the question is, okay, well, where do we do it then? Well, the answer is, of course, we want to use a group. And my, suggest, my suggestion has always been, and honestly, it's the way I've been taught since I was very, very young, is to use an audio submaster to do this.